I've just had to cancel our flight and there are no more flights to Oaxaca for the next few days. So we're stuck. I might have to call an ambulance for Dale. <laughs> Dale's feeling really ill today. He's been sick already, haven't you? Yeah, this morning. And today we're embarking on probably one of the most uncomfortable travel journeys on this channel. We're currently in Pist, where we saw Chichen Itza yesterday. We need to get the bus from Pist to Merida, where we're then getting a flight to, how do you say it, Oaxaca? Oaxaca. Oaxaca. However, our flight isn't until 5.30 a.m. tomorrow morning, which means we're sleeping at the airport. I just really hope you can survive this bus ride without being sick. Yeah, you and me both. And probably all the other passengers on the bus. <laughs> uh. I just picked the camera up to go to the bus station and Dale promptly started being sick. Somehow I don't think we're going to make it on this flight. I realize we don't have any tissues. I'm not sure I've ever had to blow my nose on a leaf before. Just as Dale was being sick on the corner of the road, a lovely lady came out of her house and gave him these pills to settle his stomach. Really nice of her, and hopefully they help. What are they? Green. What's the brand <laughs> name? Uh, they're diarrhea pills, but apparently they settle your stomach right down. So down the hatch. Unfortunately, being the redhead that I am has one very distinct disadvantage. I don't do very well in the sun for too long. And when we were visiting Chichen Itza yesterday, there was a lot of being in the sun and not drinking a lot of water, which I feel has unfortunately led to having a mild case of sunstroke. We don't think it was the food because we ate the same thing and I'm fine. Yeah. But. We'll just try and keep you out of the sun as much as possible today. Oh, we're doing a bad start. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I have never sweated like this before. I feel like one of those reality TV presenters who the contestants going through a lot of bad stuff and they're like, so tell me about everything that's happening to you right now. I absolutely love being able to share with you guys everything that we get up to, good, bad, in between, but today is proving quite difficult, I'll be honest. For the second time? Yeah, probably not the last. There is a bus leaving just now that we could have gotten. But Dale had to run to the toilet across the road to be sick again, so we're definitely going to get the next one. It's quarter past one now, and the next one's at quarter two, so I'm pretty sure they run every half hour throughout the day. Hi. Hi. off the bus in the historic centre in Merida and I'm waiting for Dale to come out of the toilet for what is probably the fifth time today. Bless him. I think we're probably gonna have to get a taxi to the airport because he's probably not well enough to do a lot of walking and figuring out of public buses. But our flight is until 5.30 tomorrow morning and it's now half four in the evening the day before. So not sure. We have quite a lot of time to kill. We might go somewhere and work for a bit and get some food if Dale's up for it. Or we might go straight to the airport. I'm going to see how he's feeling. We found a cheap hotel around the corner to check into until our flight tomorrow morning because Dale is really not well enough to sleep at the airport. We've only just managed to leave the bus station and as you can probably tell it's now dark outside because we were there for like two hours. <laughs> Luckily the hotel is only a two minute walk away so 
we have to go there and ask them if they can book us a taxi to the airport at 2am tomorrow morning and if they can great and if they can't well we'll figure that out later Sorry about the endless selfie bits today. It's just been a bit of a rush, hasn't it? And I would not have made it from piss to here without you, so thank you. This hotel is home for the next six hours and they said that they can book us a taxi to the airport for 150 pesos tomorrow morning. Anyway, enough rambling to the camera. We are going to enjoy having a hotel room rather than sleeping in an airport. AKA, day I was going to pass out on the bed, maybe in front of the toilet, and I'm going to get some work done. Oh, and get some food. I am so hungry. I've just had to cancel our flight, and there are no more flights to Oaxaca for the next few days, so we're stuck. Dale is not well enough to travel. I just tried to get him up to get a taxi to the airport and he immediately had to run to the bathroom. At the risk of too much information, every time he drinks water or eats anything, it immediately comes back up. It's getting to the point now where I'm worried that I might have to call an ambulance for Dale or at least take him to the doctors. The thing is he point blank refuses. I've suggested going to a medical centre a few times and he said no. He's very stubborn. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be okay. It's just quite scary watching someone who you love be that sick and not be able to do anything about it. Especially when you're not even in a country where you know what the healthcare system is like. I've just realized that he's in the shot. <laughs> so the things I'm going to try and figure out immediately are canceling our accommodation in Oaxaca, where and when we can get a flight to, and most importantly, one day we'll be well enough to travel again. It's two days later and Dale is a new person. I'm alive. Just about. <laughs> we spent the whole day yesterday in our hotel room and if the room looks a little bit different, that's because they moved us. We found a gigantic cockroach in the last room. Oh, it was literally as long as my finger. We've now booked a new flight we're no longer going to Oaxaca, we're going to... Mexico City! Which is something that we plan to do a little bit later on into our trip, but there's no flights to Oaxaca for about a week, is there? No. So we're spending a week in Mexico City, and then we're going to be getting the bus down to Oaxaca. Maybe. We're also going to do pin drop in Mexico, where we pick a spot on the map blindfolded, and then go there. So maybe we'll be going up north or somewhere completely different after Mexico City. But Oaxaca is still definitely on the list. But for now though, we need to get to the airport. So rather than getting a berth or walking, because I'm still feeling a bit tender, we're getting a taxi. <laughs> I think we need to print our boarding passes for our flight. So I'm going to ask the hotel reception if they can do that for us. Fingers crossed. We've made it to the airport and I'm still yet to vomit so things are going pretty smoothly so far. All we've got to do now is get checked in and then get our flight. Check-in was supposed to open 20 minutes ago and there is no one here. So the person eventually turned up and it looks like we can now check our bags in. We're just about to go through security so we'll see you in a sec. This is the smallest airport we've been to so far and security took a record breaking less than a minute. <laughs> Security took so little time, we now have two hours until our flight. Luckily there are plug sockets, so we're going to get some work done.
After three days of stress, we're finally on a plane and it should only be two hours until we get to Mexico City. It seems to be at this airport the departures and arrivals are all in the same bit and then the baggage claim is in a completely different part of the airport, which is very confusing. We don't know where we're going, we're just following people who are on our flight and hoping that they're going the right way. Yeah. <laughs> we think baggage claim is this way, but we have to walk past all the gates to get to baggage claim. It turns out that I was right when I said that baggage claim is on the opposite side of the airport to our gate. It could not have been any further away. We're having to go past every single gate to get there. We're getting our daily exercise in though. Whew, get those steps in. We're getting a taxi to our apartment because Dale is not well enough to navigate the public bus system. So yay, luxury for once. <laughs> I've already checked and there is Uber here, so we should be able to get an Uber from right outside the airport directly to our apartment. Oh, it feels so nice to say that and it's so unusual. The last few days have been a complete whirlwind. We were expecting to be in Oaxaca, but we're actually now in Mexico City. But I'm really glad we're here. I'm really looking forward to exploring the capital. And as I said to Dale on the plane, I have never seen a city that's this big. It's definitely been quite a surprising travel experience, but we've made it somewhere that we wanted to come for quite a while. And we haven't lost out on too much money because we don't tend to book travel very far in advance. And this is why we only lost out on the price of our flights and on one night's accommodation in Oaxaca. And the most important thing, of course, is that you're okay. Yeah, I'm okay. Now, what do you want for dinner? Because I'm going to order you some food. Pizza. Pizza it is. Yeah, I know we're in Mexico, but they are sick, so we're getting pizza. Yeah. So the next time you guys see us, we'll be exploring Mexico City properly. So once again, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, and we'll see you soon. to say that I love you and you're crossing the road right now from being in the toilet and we're at the bus station in piss but when you edit this video look back on it and hopefully it will be funny by that point and I'm really proud of how you're handling today well done I love you the moment we walk into the airport is he's putting another layer on it's cold you're always cold <laughs> ah there's a tree there